Welcome back. The School of Destiny Associates is hosting an information breakfast in support of the annual 16 Days of Activism Against Gender-Based Violence. They're inviting members of corporate Namibia and government institutions to take part in this important day. The 16 Days of Activism is a global campaign to end violence against women and girls, a crisis affecting millions worldwide. Now here to share more on the breakfast event and what's planned is Mr. Sidney Boyce. Good evening and welcome. Good evening, and thanks for having me. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. To start with, uh, Mr. Boyce, um, could you explain the significance of the 16 days of activism against uh, gender-based violence in your own words? In my own words, everybody expects change, especially in the space of gender-based violence, be it in our country or being it globally and everybody is waiting probably on somebody or someone or some institution to change this um, uh, negative narrative if I, if I call it that way mm -hmm. and that change has to start somewhere and as much as these 16 days of activism is uh, worldwide known to start from 25th of, of November uh, till the 10th of December mm -hmm. uh, that's globally uh, known However, um, once seems to take a back seat, waiting for others to make things happen, waiting for the government to happen now. We have started uh, with uh, quite, you know, uh, rolling action plans on men networks, boy child programs, mm -hmm. knowing that uh, when it comes to gender based violence issues, that the stati statistics also suggest that 90% of the problem are perpetrated by men or mm -hmm. males, mm -hmm. meaning we have to be at the forefront on this agenda mm -hmm. of ending gender-based violence. Mm -hmm. I suppose like, you know, the rest of the world, GBV is also a s very serious issue in mm -hmm. Namibia. Uh, do you have any latest statistics that you can, you know, enlighten us on in terms of where we stand uh, when it comes to GBV cases? Um, not, not in totality. Uh, what is what is what is uh, key for me is uh, especially on the issues of uh, the root causes uh, some of the statistics of piece of statistics mm -hmm. that we have in our country uh, amongst the root causes of course issues such as broken families issues such as moral decay issues such as uh, even spiritual decay mm -hmm. issues of uh, at a personal level and family level mostly mm. those are the issues issues of uh, uh, lack of self-worth uh, lack of life skills uh, to, 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 to mention some of it mm. so um, and then of course when you go down at, at the at the contributory factors uh, of course amongst the root causes also personal trauma yeah that's why I could relate to some of the issues you know of unemployment how that depression you know how those traumas can lead to other other causes but then on the contributory factors of course uh, according to statistics um, some of the issues there mostly dealing with with, with social issues such as risky lifestyles mm. um, uh, to, to, to mention a few uh, so those 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 issues of course are statistics which are there mm -hmm. uh, and uh, meaning the problem is is quite known yeah. Uh, in terms of root causes and, and contributory yeah, yeah. factors. And then uh, the main statistics, as I said, the perpetrators, 90% uh, um, and above, the perpetrators are men, yeah. are males, uh, dominance in, in that regard. Meaning uh, we, uh, this is a, a, a male-mate problem mm, and mm. could be, uh, to some extent, be a male uh, solution driven yeah. approach at the forefront mm -hmm. uh, to address this situation. How does this, this breakfast event then aim to, to raise a, a awareness about GBV in Namibia or you know, aim to address the scorch of GBV in, in Namibia? Yeah, of course the, 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 the main aspects of these campaigns uh, internationally or locally is to see how we can bring about uh, education and information uh, you know, some of the issues are underreported yeah. on GPV just because people don't know. So there's a lot of education and awareness that needs to be done. Right. Um, because if if the if the aspects of root causes points towards 
lack of life skills, it means there's, a, there's an opportunity for, uh, for education and awareness and training of men and boys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If the contributing factors uh, uh, points toward issues of lack of knowledge and skills, that people are still in toxic uh, environments, you know, in, in situations of, 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 uh, of violence, right. but not knowing what, what are the issues, the fundamental rights, what are your fundamental rights in terms of the constitution, the, the issues of the laws of the mm -hmm. country, mm -hmm. whether it's the common laws, what does it say? Not knowing those issues, even the issues of, of workplace bullying. If you don't know what are the, 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 the frameworks in terms of the labor laws, what does it, what is, how does gender-based, how does uh, workplace bullying look like? Mm. You will not report it. Mm -hmm. You will not be able to expose it in order to stop it. Yeah. So um, this awareness is, is basically inviting corporates uh, to start with, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, and addressing uh, this community because this community deals with issues of workplace uh, bullying, right. which has an effect back home. Right. And then you right. see the, vi the violence, we call it gender-based uh, gender violence, domestic violence, but it started probably at work. Mm -hmm. So how do we deal with corporates and say they can play a role as change catalyst in, in, in this regard? So as captured audience in this regard, corporates where we are, we said, let's reach out, let's have a platform. And uh, as we know, some of the uh, illustrative themes of, of this campaign talks about um, uh, be the change yeah. you want to see and build allies. Now, in this case, uh, men becomes a community of allies that can drive this, uh, this, this program and, and, and start somewhere and build the momentum and, and see beyond the 16 days yeah, yeah. how we can inculcate some of the issues. And that's important to work yeah. beyond the 16 days yes. and not just but during that time Absolutely, frame. Yeah. absolutely. Just lastly, before we, we are out of time, uh, Mr. Boyce, tell us when exactly the breakfast will be taking place and just highlight some of the you know, pointers that will be on the agenda. Yes, the, 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 the breakfast will be the coming Monday, uh, the 18th of uh, November at, at 7 o'clock at, uh, at uh, Arebush, uh, where we have invited, of course, uh, corporates. I've seen some of the responses. We'll look at the appetite. <laughs> of course, you will not look for appetite. People mm -hmm. have to make decisions now yeah. and engage and, and, and build those allies. So uh, the, uh, the coming, the coming um, uh, Monday and beyond that, uh, during the 16 days, we will also have 16 days of activities, you know, mm -hmm. boot camps, looking at physical health, mental health, how do you combine the two? A lot of host of activities and that's where uh, we want to uh, lobby uh, yeah. and, 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 and enroll corporates as a, as a starter and see how we can then build this momentum and later on see how some of the structural frameworks you know and workplaces yes. can be can be embedded now as place as part of the occupational health and yeah. safety yeah. so we hope to have few uh, institutions NBC we want you to sign up uh, the men from NBC to sign up so that you can come back and uh, create those healthy um, you know work environments mm -hmm. Uh, uh, that, that is for the betterment of all. Mr. Boy, it's always lovely having you with us. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me. When we come back after this brief break, we continue with